If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, subscribe to Easy Abayan Tricks and don't forget to click the bell icon for immediate updates. Hi everyone, welcome to the next lecture video. Today's topic is Thevenin's Theorem. Okay, first we can see the statement of Thevenin's Theorem. Okay, so any two terminal linear network having a number of voltage or current sources and resistances can be replaced by a simple equivalent circuit consisting of a single voltage source in series with the resistance. In series with the resistance. This is the statement of Thevenin's theorem in short, right? That is, any circuit or a network that has a number of voltage or current sources, resistances can be replaced by a single circuit, right? That has a voltage source in series with the resistance. That voltage source is called as Thevenin's voltage and that resistance is called as Thevenin's resistance, right? So this is all about Thevenin's theorem, right? So what about this Thevenin's voltage? This Thevenin's voltage is calculated by means of the open circuit in that voltage, right? The, so the Thevenin's voltage is nothing but the open circuit voltage, right? Okay, across the two terminals of the network. Just open circuit, if the, the terminals of the network, there is A, B, across A, B and find the Thevenin's voltage. Across the terminals A and B, right? So resistance, the Thevenin's resistance is nothing but the resistance across the terminals A and B while replacing all the energy sources by its internal resistances, right? Understand, Thevenin's voltage is nothing but the open circuit voltage and Thevenin's resistance is the resistance across the terminals A and B with all its energy sources being replaced by its internal resistances, right? So, what is the internal resistance of an energy source? There are two types of energy source, right? Ideal voltage source and ideal current source, right? So, what is the internal resistance of an ideal voltage source? You know, what is the internal resistance of an ideal voltage source? Its internal resistance value will be 0, right? If the internal resistance value is 0, the circuit seems to be a short circuit, right? The circuit seems to be a short circuit, understand? So, this is how to replace the ideal voltage source. So, just replace the ideal voltage source by means of a short circuit while calculating RTH. Understand? And what is the ideal current source? An ideal current source is internal resistance value is infinity. That is, if, if the resistance value is maximum, the current value is absolutely zero, right? So, when R is equal to infinity, that is, current value is zero, the circuit seems to be an open circuit. Understand? The circuit seems to be open circuit. Understand? Just open circuit, right? This is the open circuit. Understand? So, just... To find TH, just replace ideal voltage source by means of a short circuit and replace ideal current source by means of its open circuit, right? This is all about Thevenin's theorem. Just the entire circuit is replaced by a voltage source, that is a Thevenin's voltage in series with the Thevenin's resistance across the terminals A and B, right? Now we can see proof for Thevenin's theorem, right? So what is the Thevenin's theorem? Any circuit can be replaced by a voltage source in series with the resistance, right? So, first we can see how to solve a circuit normally using our mesh or nodal analysis and we can verify whether both the solutions resulting from either nodal or mesh analysis and Thevenin's theorem are the same, right? So, that's what we are going to see in, in this topic, right? Okay. So, first, this is the problem. That is, find the voltage across 24 ohm and current flowing through 24 ohm resistors, right? right? So, first, take a look at this problem. So, first, analyze yourself. So, either we can solve using your nodal analysis or mesh analysis or any, any other way, right? We need to find the voltage across this 24 ohm resistor, right? Voltage across this 24 ohm resistor and the current through this 24 ohm resistor. This is our problem, right? So, first we can focus on our nodal analysis, right? We need to find the current through this 24 ohm resistor. We can also use current division also, right? So, how to use current division? We need to find the current through this 24 ohm resistor. If you find the current, this entire current flow, then you can easily find the current flowing through 24 ohm resistor. You know how to solve using current division. You can either use current division method also, right? Or you can use nodal analysis technique also, right? If there is a single major node, right? I am marking it as V, right? You can either apply KCL at this particular node and you can easily find the voltage across this 24 ohm. That is the same voltage. V, right? And I can also find the current through this 24 ohm. That is I equal to V by 24. You can either solve using that method also. Now, just focus in this problem, right? Now, we are going to solve using nodal analysis, right? Now, the supply nodal analysis in this particular node. That is V minus 10 divided by 2 plus V by 12 plus V by 24 equal to 0. All the currents are outgoing, right? 
all the currents are said to be outgoing we have assumed it as outgoing you know how to apply kcl right right now just solve by yourself pass the video and solve by yourself finally you'll get a value as 15 v equal to 5 into 24 right and your value of v will be 8 volt understand this is the value of this node voltage v right now what is the voltage across this 24 ohm resistor the same voltage right since both the resistance are in parallel right if you have another resistance across this branch we cannot say that the voltage v is equal to voltage across 24 ohm you know right you know what is the series and parallel circuit right so these 12 ohm and 24 ohm are directly in parallel right so the voltage across this 20, 12 ohm resistor is v that is equal to voltage across 24 ohm resistor understand now what is the current through this 24 ohm resistor? Current through this 24 ohm resistor. What is I? V by R. That is V by R value is 24. What is V? 8. 8 by 24. That is 1 by 3. What is 1 by 3? That is current flowing through 4 ohm resistor. Sorry, 24 ohm resistor will be equal to 0.33 ampere. Just mark it, right? So, this is the value of the current flowing through this 24 ohm resistor. Understand? So this is about solving it in nodal analysis, right? So mark this value of uh, voltage and current across this 24 ohm resistor, understand? Now we can solve using our Thevenin's theorem and we can find that whether both the solutions are same, okay? So now we are going to verify the same circuit in using Thevenin's theorem, right? So this is the circuit, right? We need to find the current and voltage in this 24 ohm resistor, right? So, first step in Thevenin's theorem is to find the load resistance, right? So, the problem is to find the voltage and current in this 24 ohm resistor, right? The problem may be asked that uh, find the Thevenin's equivalent circuit across the terminals A and B and they may give the terminals A and B directly, right? In some other cases, they may give a circuit and they may ask to find the voltage or current in the particular resistor or so on, right? So, in that case, that particular resistor is the load resistor, right? So, in this case, we need to find find the voltage or current in this 24 ohm resistor. So, this is the load resistor. So, the first step in Thevenin circuit is to remove the load resistor, right? So, while calculating VTH and RTH, we need to remove the load resistor. Finally, in the final situation only, we have to include that load resistor while calculating current and voltage, right? Understand? So, the first step is to remove the load resistance. Keep, in, keep it in mind, right? So, this is our terminal A and B, right? Since this is our load resistance. Keep this in mind. Okay. So, now we have to convert this part of the entire circuit into its equivalent Thevenin circuit. Right. So, just we can replace this part of the circuit by its equivalent Thevenin's equivalent circuit. That is a VTH. There is a Thevenin's voltage in series with the Thevenin's resistance. Correct. This is the Thevenin's equivalent circuit, you know, right? So, finally, this is our terminal A and B. Finally, you will have the, we have to include this load resistance for calculation of voltage and current. Understand? Okay. So, this is how we have to replace the circuit by means of a Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Now, we can see how to calculate this VTH and RTH. Understand? Now, we can see how to find the Thevenin's voltage, right? So, what is the Thevenin's voltage? Thevenin's voltage is nothing but the open circuit voltage across the terminals A and B, right? Here, the terminals A and B is nothing but our 24 ohm resistor, right? So, for the first step, as I said earlier, we need to remove the load resistance, right? So, don't worry about this 24 ohm resistor now, right? Now, what is the Thevenin's voltage? Open circuit voltage across the terminals A and B, right? So, just redraw the circuit, that is 10 volt in series with the 2 ohm resistor, in series with the 12 ohm resistor, right? We need to find the open circuit voltage, that is the Thevenin's voltage, understand? 2 ohm resistor, here 12 ohm resistor and here 10 volt, right? This is nothing but our Thevenin's voltage, right? Since now, see the circuit, that is 2 and 12 ohm are in series, right? We have removed this load resistance, right? So, no need to worry about that. That is just the open circuit. No current flows in the circuit. That is, this 2 and 12 ohm and this 10 volt branch. This is this alone constitutes the circuit, right? So, this 2 and 12 ohm are in series, right? So, it is very easy to find the voltage across this 12 ohm resistor. Understand? So, how to find the voltage across this 12 ohm resistor using voltage division? Understand? Correct? Now, voltage across this 12 ohm resistor will be the Thevenin's voltage. Understand? 
How to find the voltage across this 12 ohm resistor? The total voltage that is 10 volt into, into the same resistance 12 divided by 12 plus 2. You know how to write the voltage division formula. If not, go, go for a recap and learn about voltage division. Right? 10 into 12 divided by 14. Finally, your answer will be 60 divided by 7. Right? Your answer will be voltage. That is, 7 voltage value will be 8.57 volt. Understand? Just mark it. Okay, this is our thevenin's voltage. Understand? Now we can see how to find the thevenin's resistance, right? RTH, right? So what is RTH? RTH is nothing but the resistance across the terminals A and B while replacing all the energy sources by its internal resistances, right? Here there is one, one independent source. That is only one voltage, independent voltage source, right? So what is the internal resistance of a of an ideal voltage source, its internal resistance will be zero. That is, we need to replace the ideal voltage source by means of a short circuit. So, just replace the voltage source by a short circuit and find the equivalent resistance across the terminals A and B, right? Just simple, right? So, just replace it by means of a short circuit. Understand? The remaining part of the circuit is the same. That is, 2 ohms and 12 ohms, right? 2 ohms, 12 ohms. And here, we need to remove the load resistance, right? Right? Understand? So, this is the terminals A and B. We need to find the thevenin's resistance across the terminals A and B. Understand? So, just concentrate in the circuit. Now, how, how will you find the resistance, thevenin's resistance that is across R, across the terminals A and B? This 2 and 12 ohm are in, 2 and 12 ohm are in parallel, right? So, just find the parallel resistance value. 2 into 12 divided by 2 plus 12. Your final result will be? 24 divided by 14. Understand? 12 by 7, right? 12 by 7. Your answer will be 1 point. The thevenin's resistance value will be 1.71 ohms. Right? Just mark the value of thevenin's resistance. So, this is about calculating thevenin's resistance, right? So, while calculating the thevenin's voltage, just for every calculation, for uh, any thevenin circuit calculation, we need to find, first find the terminals A and B and we need to remove that load resistance, right? And then only we have to proceed with VTH and RTH. So, find VTH, just open circuit the terminals A and B and find the open circuit voltage across the terminals. That is a thevenin voltage, right? It is easy, right? And to find the thevenin resistance, that is the resistance across the terminals A and B, right? By re uh, replacing the energy sources by its internal resistances, right? So, what is the internal resistance of an ideal voltage source? Its internal resistance is zero. The, so, just short, short circuit, right? And then finally, these are in parallel. Just find the thevenin's resistance. Understand? Now, we have found the value of thevenin's voltage and thevenin's resistance, right? Now, now, just we can replace the value in the circuit. That's all, right? Now, now we can replace, redraw this diagram as the, it's equivalent thevenin circuit, right? That is, what is the value of VTH? 8.57 volt, right? And what is the value of RTH? 1.71 ohms, correct? And finally, we need to include the load resistance also. What is the value of load resistance? 24 ohms, right? So, this is how we need to redraw this circuit by means of a 7 and sequence circuit. Don't forget this load resistance to be included in its final diagram, right? Okay. Now, we need to find the voltage across this 24 ohm resistor and current flowing through this 24 ohm resistor, right? So, how, how will you find the voltage across this 24 ohm resistor? Just I am concentrating in this circuit alone, right? We need to find the voltage across this 24 ohm resistor, correct? So, how will you find the voltage across 24 ohm resistor? Just by using voltage division, correct? Right? So, just Voltage across this 24 ohm resistor will be equal to its total voltage 8.57 volt into that particular resistor 24 divided by 24.171. Right? Understand? On solving this, you will get the value of voltage across 24 ohm resistor will be equal to 8 volt. Understand? This is the voltage across this 24 ohm resistor. So, how will you find the current through this 24 ohm resistor? These are in series, right? So, the total current gives the current uh, current through this 24 ohm resistor. Simple, right? So, how will you find the current? That is the total current gives the current flowing through this 24 ohm resistor. That is I equal to V by R. What is the value of V? What is the value of V? 8.57, right? 8.57 divided by R. What is the value of R? That is the entire 
resistance you have to consider right we need to find the total current the total current gives the current through this 24 ohm resistor so how will you find the total current i equal to v by rt right what is the value of rt r1 plus r2 right so 1.71 plus 24 understand so finally your answer will be current flowing through this 24 ohm resistor will be 0.33 ampere right understand now this is the solution you got using our Thevenin's theorem right now just compare your nodal analysis answer also right what is the solution the same solution right voltage across this 24 ohm will be 8 volt and current through this 24 ohm will be 0.33 ampere the same solution we have got here also understand this Thevenin's theorem is proved right so this is a way to solve a problem using Thevenin's theorem understand this is a small problem for practice, right? Okay. This is the circuit. We need to find its equal and in circuit, right? So they are having given to find any voltage or current across any resistor, right? So just they have asked to find a Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So these sort of questions are widely asked in GATE and many other competitive exams, right? So this is a very important topic in GATE and several easy exams, right? So just they will ask to find its Thevenin equivalent circuit, right? So just we need to they have given the terminals A and B. Just find the VTH and RTH and find its 7 and equivalent circuit, right? So, you know how to find VTH, right? So, VTH is nothing but the open circuit voltage across the terminals A and B, right? So, they, they have already marked the terminals A and B. You no need to remove any load resistor, right? So, just focus on only on the terminals A and B and find the voltage across. This is the Thevenin's voltage, right? And how will you find the Thevenin's resistance? Thevenin's resistance is nothing but the resistance across the terminals A and B replacing its voltage sources by means of its internal resistances, right? So just short circuit, right? Finally, you'll get this sort of circuit, right? Just short circuit both the voltage sources. You'll get the final circuit like this, right? So just find the value across these terminals A and B. You'll get a solution, right? So that's the final Thevenin sequence circuit. That is, the entire circuit can be replaced by a voltage. That is the Thevenin's voltage source in series with the Thevenin's resistance. Understand? So just find the solution, right? And comment in my video also, right? So that's all in today's lecture. So if you like my video, do a like. Share this video to your friends and subscribe to my channel Easy Abiantrix and click the bell icon for immediate updates. If you have any doubts also you can leave a comment in my comment section. And this is TK signing off. Thank you.